What's going on? We better go and find out. Everyone, calm down. What happened at the quarry? Listen. Yes, there was an incident. Our friend Otto Blackface was hurt at the quarry. What happened? The Earl of Shiring had his men stop us from taking stone from the quarries and timber from the forest. Why? Why would Percy Hamley do that? All we know is what his men told us. That the Earl of Shiring will not support the construction of Kingsbridge Cathedral anymore. What are we going to do now? I will write to Shiring myself and I will talk to Percy Hamley. Oh, that's all good and well. But how are we supposed to continue working without stone and timber? I want to be paid before you run out of money. I need to feed my family. Calm down. You heard the prior. He will talk to the Earl himself. And I've planned ahead for a day like this. You will be paid soon. And there will be plenty of work for at least another month. For all of you. I trust I Tom. I say we stay. And I trust our prior. I will prepare everything immediately. I'll be with you in a moment. What if the Earl won't listen to Philip? I need to talk to Philip. See me later at my house, all right? What about the book we wanted to look for? N not now. I, I think I can help here. I'll find the book. We will sort this out. And now, back to work. This cathedral won't build itself. And you, Jack, watch Jonathan. Oh, uh, what again? Are you looking for someone? I'm supposed to bring this bread to our canter. He's spending the day up there on the roof of the cathedral. But how am I ever going to make it all the way up there? Ah, uh, afraid of heights, hmm? But do you want me to go? No, no. I'll make it. I just need time. Hey, take back what you said before. What? What did I say? Oh, come on. You, you know what you said. About Aliena? Why would you care if I take her as a wife? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I will do everything in my power to make sure you are paid. I know that you showed us mercy before when we had to flee from Earl's Castle. My husband has worked here ever since, and we would like to be close to Our Lady Aliena, but we have no choice. Oh, Mary. The same goes for us, Mary. We all owe Philip much. I trust you, Father, but I risk my neck up there every day. My wife is right. If you can't pay, We'll have to move on. Kingsbridge is our home. I don't want to leave. Let me think of something. Maybe there's a way we can pay your workers early, Philip. But selling the wool at the fleece fair will take at least a couple of days. I'm sorry, but me and the other workers can't wait that long. 
Not now that everything is so unsure. Trust me, Philip. I'll think of something. Jack! Your corbel is still not finished, is it? I will do it, all right? It's just not that easy to do it well. I need it finished today. If you don't do it, Alfred will. That's my corbel. None of this is ours. Doing the carvings is the only job you didn't give Alfred to screw up. We should be thankful of the work we're allowed to do. And in our work, we must be thorough and steadfast. Thankful for what we are allowed to do. You are the one who wouldn't settle for less than a cathedral. You could have had other work, but no. For months, you remained steadfast, no matter the cost. When are you going to tell Jonathan about what happened in the forest? Ah, shouldn't have said that about Jonathan. Damn it. For him, not a single fort remains. I think that was all of them. Do you mind? Oi, my ants! I just took a few. They aren't all your ants. Hey, Alfred. What? Ow! What did you do that for? Jack! This is a church. Oh, now don't go and tell on me. He started it. What do you want from me? Well, I, I just want you to take back what you said about Eliana. So what if I would marry her? What's it to you? Mind your own business. Look who's talking. Shouldn't you be working? Well, how can I if you keep distracting me? <laughs> Why won't you let us work? Don't you know how serious the situation in Kingsbridge is right now? <laughs> What? What did he write? Alpha can't read. Right, Jonathan, but you can. Well done. Jack! What is wrong with you? You will never be a builder if you go on like that. You will end up hung in shining like your father. I said, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. What did you say? I overheard it in the tavern. Someone said your father was a thief and that he was hanged in Shiring. I'm so sorry. <sighs> so, so what? Why would you care? Jack, I... <laughs> You should apologize for what you said about Aliena instead. 
Ah, uh, forget it. Alfred? What? Hey! Stop it, goddammit! <gasps> oh, you see what happens when you don't apologise? Jack, stop it, please! Well, oh, and will you take back what you said? All right. I am sorry. Now, will you let us work, please? Oh, it wasn't so hard now, was it? Time to get this done. Nice. For some reason, I'm full of energy today. <laughs> mm. But the face still isn't right. I can never get the face right. I'm done for now. I just can't stand looking at it anymore. Oh, damn. Watch your tongue. I will. Damn. I need to get much better at this. Good day, my ladies. Ha <laughs> ha if it isn't handsome Jack. Have you come by to help, eh? Ha <laughs> Um, not really. Didn't think so. <laughs> After a day your hands start bleeding, piss and salt in the water will do that. Piss? Only way to get the grease and dirt from the wall. We can use the coin, but there's only so much pain you can take. Sooner or later, Aliena will have to look someplace else for Fuller's. I will find a way to help you with your hands. Well, as a start, then maybe you should get back to work as well. I'm just taking a break, all right? You mean until I taught him everything and Many then he is a seller? Why does Philip want me to read the Bible? He thinks that if you put that mind of yours to good use, you could be a great scholar. Are you saying I'm not putting it to good use right now? No, but there is still so much you could learn. These are hard times. We cannot...
Ah, there you are, Cub. I wanted to talk to you. What is it? I'm afraid there's a lot of trouble ahead of us. From what I heard from Tom, they're trying to shut down the construction. They? The Earl of Shiring. Tom is under a lot of stress. If it weren't for him, it would already be over. Why are you telling me this? Did he say something about me? No. But I know that he just can't stand to see you and Alfred arguing. Just don't see why Alfred gets to do everything he wants. Alfred is a master builder. You are an apprentice. There are rules. They may not be my rules, but they are yours. If you want to become a master builder. Mm, maybe. Don't be angry, Cobb. I'm not. The Fullers down in Kingsbridge are having trouble with their hands. I'm not surprised. I could only do it for a few days, even though Aliena paid well. Here, take this. Ouch! Stinging nettle. <laughs> yes. And you need to crush it with a pestle and mortar, and then make a balm from it. Cuthbert had a mortar, I think. The Fuller's hands will improve for a while. But only for a while. If they want to stop their hands from suffering, they need to stop fulling. Maybe you're right. Thank you. the time to do that? Now, let's see. Here we go. more. Good. And now, uh, what? Milius? Yes? Do you know how to make a bar? Indeed. All it takes is some hot fat and beeswax. Ah, oh, thank you. You know, you really wouldn't make a bad monk, Jack. What, me? <laughs> I think that would be a problem. Why? You can read, you know about herbs, and you are good company. Is this supposed to be wine? What? Here, in the corner. No, it's vinegar. <laughs> It's vinegar. That shouldn't be here. What was Cuthbert thinking? Oh, Lord. Give me the strength to endure this without chasing Brother Andrew from my kitchen. I don't think I would make a good monk. Why not? Philip thinks so too. He told me. Never mind why. I don't need to be a monk to come around and talk to you, right? That is true. And I think I should get back to work soon. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Hmm, they have problems with their hands and feet. Maybe I can find a way to help them. Try this. Whenever did you find the time to make a bomb, handsome Jack? Don't you have work to do? Who would I be if I could just pass by ladies in need? <laughs> Does that mean you'll join us and do some filling? I have my own work to do, so that won't work, I'm afraid. Oh, 
Oh, of course. Suddenly you've got work to do. But I dare say, that balm works. My hands feel much better. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, ladies. Brother Paul. And that is little Jack. You see, he never paid the bridge toll when he came here. Sometimes you must show clemency and let those in need pass into our town without asking for coin. I'll remember your words, Brother Paul. He's teaching the novice about the bridge and the toll. I'd better not disturb them. As much as I'd like to, I did promise Tom I'd only do my own carvings in the evenings. 